What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Black Game Show. My name is AJ Gills. How y'all doing? We are back with Fire Emblem Three Houses. This is the Black Eagles uh, Let's Play, whatever you want to say, call it, whatever. Sorry, first video of the day, even though it's 5 in the afternoon, because I just woke up about a half hour ago. Yeah, so sorry if I sound uh, like I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about half the time. Um, we got about another about another week or so until our mission to go find Flane. Uh, the battle at the end of this month is really cool. It's a really neat map. Um, I mean, for the most part, I, I go back and forth on this game's map design. I mean, there's a few interesting ones, but a lot of the ones that we see recurring are really flat and boring. But uh, Although I guess at the same time, those maps are kind of grindy just side mission maps that you'll see a few times, although you see them in a few of the paralogs too. I don't know. Either way. Um, what do I, what was I going to do today? I was going to rest to boost everyone's motivation. Yeah. Cause everyone's motivation is really low. Yeah. Especially because we have an instruction tomorrow. I'd love to explore one more time and get some faculty training and I'll boost my spear, boost my, or Lance, Lance skill, not spear, Lance. Oh, and there actually was, I, totally forgot there was one other thing i wanted to do um you know i did some micromanaging you know i messed with uh, abilities and um abilities equipment and stuff um you know like hubert i gave him a lance yeah it was ferdinand i wanted to give a javelin to there we go give him a little bit of a range ability yeah i know what else really is a lance user in this army so ferdinand i wanted to give him a javelin um, I really like the design of the Javelin in this game. It's a lot better than what I've seen the Javelin in previous Fire Emblem games. Eh, selecting rest, give your house a break, you increase students' motivation, among other things. And it also, um, repair the Sword of the Creator. Um, what was I saying? Right, yeah, I, I like the design of the javelin. Sadly, the short spear is has the look of what the javelin used to look like. And I'm not a fan of that because I think it just looks dumb. But that's just me. Alright, so Edelgard can get a little bit of a... I'm oh, that's right, we already had her... Uh... I'm getting closer. We already activated her um, hidden talent there. But, oh well. It doesn't hurt to boost her a little bit more. Eh, I could boost her axe, but why? She's basically going to do that on her own. Um, help her boost flying, although she's going to get flying. She's gonna get it. Eh, let's give her a little bit of authority. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, who wants to help? Um, I, I'd boost... Well, nah. Wouldn't hurt to help keep boosting his spear. Or Lance, god damn it! Uh, Ferdinand's doing okay. What do I have Ferdinand focusing on right now? Authority and writing. I don't know why I was putting some work into his heavy armor, because I'm not gonna... Make him a heavy armor class. I am never. I am. I am beginning to under. I am. Be like I find that there's always characters that I that I'll put a lot of different skills into, and then there's characters that I will only put um like two or three into. Getting him ready for when I make him a mounted healer. Alright, that's all of... Oh, wait, nope, I got one more point. Dorothea. Yeah, let's keep helping boost her faith. You know, actually, given what class I'm going to make Dorothea down the line, I'm actually, I'm going to change her goals and have her stop focusing on authority and actually go back to, um, keep focusing on faith magic, but also focus on her sword skill. It'll, it'll make sense once we get to that, uh, get to the point, um, that I'm talking about 
because there's a special, you know, like unique class that you can only make one of your students. And um, I really like Dorothea in that class. Sword skill. Well, you're already focusing on sword and faith magic, so we're going to hold off on that. Look, Professor, we did great. All right, this is some smithing stones. I need to, next time I'm out in the monastery, I need to go to one of those shops and buy some smithing oh, stones. I see now. And she just learned physic. And speaking of which, it's a Sunday. Well, we could. Okay. Yeah, level, level 11 is what we need. I don't like doing desert battles because they're a pain in the ass. I don't really need ore right now. I'm. Oh, man, do I want to do a seminar? Well, she'll give me bow and land. I, although I don't need bow. I keep thinking I need bow. I don't need bow skills. I need lance and writing for the characters that I want to pick up. Oh, I also need flying, I guess, because I also want to pick up Ingrid. Yeah, but nobody here is going to give me boosts in the skills I need. Yeah, honestly, I think we're going to explore again. This is going to be kind of a weird decision because we actually don't need to talk to anybody. I don't need another Steel Axe Plus. Or, yeah, I don't need another Steel Axe. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm, th I'm, I'm kind of thinking out loud. This is pretty much, uh, this exploration is basically just going to be me running around doing um, staff, uh, doing staff instructions. There we go. Harvest, plant, um, sure. Southern Fodland seeds. Let's put in some mixed fruit seeds as well. Cultivate, scatter bone meal for a thousand gold. No. Sir. Is this the first time that we've explored twice in one month? I'm not sure, but uh, either way, everybody's conversations are still the same. It's usually why I don't, you know, explore more than once a month. And like I said, I'm just doing staff instruction here. Main reason why I'm out. Um, I don't need any of those skills. I could put, again, I keep saying I could put focus into Axe to bring in um, Hilda from... The uh, golden deers, but even then. What brings you here? I'm taking a break. Is this about Flane? You find me suspicious. <laughs> I was somewhere else, fighting. Is that a problem? God damn, I love I you. Understand that I don't fit in among the knights of Saros. But that hardly links me to Flane's disappearance. God damn, I love you. Although I do have one problem with her when you actually use her in battle. She keeps pulling arrows from her back. <coughs> Sorry. Um, well, actually, no, that's not true. Like, she'll, when she attacks, she'll pull it out of her, if, let's see if I can, you know, like the quiver that's on her side. She'll pull arrows from there. It makes sense with the character model. But, you know, it, when, uh, with the archer classes, all of them, you know, they, they'll put an arrow in the quiver on their back, you know, after battle's complete and they get a kill. They'll put an arrow in their back, you know, in the quiver on her, on their back, and she does the same thing. Like, she'll reach back and put one, you know, it, like all the other character models, on the quiver in her back, but she doesn't have one there. I, it just, it annoys me. Hello. You'll be able to see a little bit more what I'm talking about when we actually get to that point, but it's... I don't know. It bothers me. Yes, I will waste a whole bunch of gold. I think. Return soon, please. I know it's not wasting because it's it's gonna allow me to repair and everything almost at will. I don't have to worry about a lot of shit. Let's go see Hanneman. Boost my reason. What was it? Uh, my region, my my region magic, my reason magic. 
So my other playthrough, I uh, didn't focus on my... What was it? I didn't focus on my magic skills. Mostly because why focus on my magic skills? They're um, not skills that I really give two craps about. But until... What uh, what am I thinking here? Um, but yeah, my magic skills were uh, skills that I really didn't focus on because I wasn't going to be playing as a magic class. So, you know, my thought was, why do it? It's kind of a waste. Well, actually, there are some. Cl there is a uh, special class to the protagonist um, down the road that is a half magic, half sword user. And I'm not talking like the mortal, uh, mortal, the mortal savant. I think is how it's pronounced. Um, which is a sword user that has some magic. No, it's kind of like a half sword, half magic class. It's a that sort of thing. The issue is I just don't have any magic abilities, so I play it like a sword class. Um, yeah, I've got that boot. Yeah, I'm not bad at faith magic, and I could. But before anything, I like to attack. So, I want to focus on reason magic. Um, how many more points do I got? I got two. Listen. Reflecting on it now, she appears young. Yet there's something about her that seems much older than her years suggest. And she's quite a ghost? I want to see, do I have the... <laughs> no, I, th I thought I saw something about ghosts in these... Um... In the lost items, I always get those mixed up. We do not. I am. Well, hopefully, I can lay your suspicion. I was. If Ingrid believes Annette is. Yes, I know Annette's your daughter. Sorry if I ruined that for anyone. I probably shouldn't have ruined that for anyone if I just said, "Yeah, Annette's your daughter," because it's pretty easy, pretty obvious. Practice yield. There we go. Boost my writing skill. And where is Gerald? Probably in his office. Because of but we haven't what's that? She was carrying something. I'm not close. Who's my spear? My writing. Um trying to think here. Yeah, I don't have anyone who can boost my flying skill. Actually I believe Sedith can, now that I think about it. Go. A beautiful, delicate maiden vanished. If it were a book, we would have no need to worry. She would be rescued presently by a dashing nobleman. Do you have any idea as to where she might be? Where she might have wandered off to? That is what I thought. Why I am here, in fact. But she is nowhere. I can't tell if I like Ferdinand or if I hate the shit out of him. I hope Flane isn't going hungry. If someone really kidnapped her, I'll never forgive them. Now that I think about it, I saw Aloise hanging out by the pond not too He was always getting into trouble for trying to talk to- It's probably a crazy- Yeah, we already know it's Yurita. And also, all Aloise does is just make bad jokes. As annoying as Aloise is, he's not the culprit. I'm looking for Flane's kidnapper. I can't say anything for sure, but I do have suspicions about Yurita. Is it because he wears a mask all the time? Is that why you're suspicious of him? Because, you know, that's his normal behavior, apparently. Something about how he's handling his blade lately. It seems more impulsive than usual. 
Or that, you know, let's just completely ignore the fact that he wears a mask. Try speaking with him at least. At this hour, I think you'll find him sparring with Catherine at the training grounds. Join me for some training sometime. I might like to be... And I need... Oh, that's right, he respects speed and sword. Ow! Ingrid just about slapped the teeth out of my head. Hey guys, give me a quick second. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had um, somebody calling me, and I had to take the phone call. All right, so let's move on. Uh, yeah. would suggest that Flame might have eloped. I don't know. I was just suggesting things, and suddenly I was seeing stars, and Ingrid was yelling at me. All right, let's see. I know he's got a lost item. I believe it's the unused lipstick. Oh, that's mine. Oh, thanks, Professor. You really saved the day. There we go. What's up, Professor? Hey, I got a girl waiting. Well, two. <laughs> they don't know about each other. I mean... <laughs> Okay, him I need charm and reason. Okay, who am I boosting my writing skill then? It's for Petra. That's why. That's who. Okay. Sorry. I'm just, I'm thinking out loud here. Um, I still have... Um, yeah, let's head back up. Let's go see Geralt and boost writing skill again. Because I know he can give me skill in Lance, but uh, I've already trained that... And that'll get better because, you know, I use a lance in combat anyways. I'm not cool. Yeah, ask him, is it Flane's mask? Thanks, Dad. Alright. Oh, it's Dorothea's birthday. Oh, yeah, we need a tea party for that. <laughs> Isn't it nice taking a moment to relax? You're very thoughtful, Professor. So much better than those nobles around here. I try. Thank you so much. I still don't understand this mechanic. I really don't. <coughs> Sorry. Ow. Um. <laughs> methods for growing taller. I mean, I get it. It's it's a way to boost support. It reminds me of that weird like skinship thing you had on the DS and Fates, I, or was it all? Or was that in? Um, or was that an Awakening? I can't remember which one. I think it was Awakening. Was which one that one was in? Um, although it was only in the Japanese version, it didn't come to the West because it would be kind of weird. Well, I guess we're gonna talk about cute monks, because you know that's a topic I love. Ah, damn. So, you don't have any weaknesses after. I only got a good tea time, not a perfect tea time. Damn it. Oh, it's a great tea time. Thank you, professor. Damn, I suck. All right, let's see here. B -b 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 really? I don't have another support? Jeez. It's hard to build that A support. We'll get there. Eventually. <coughs> God damn, am I choking on something? What is going on? Am I dying? <coughs> I am sorry. It really fucking hurts. Um... If I have to duck out somewhere in the middle of this this fight, uh, I'm doing laundry right now and I have to go move some shit. So that's just a just a warning. It seems Flane is still missing. What could have happened to her? Everyone, hurry! I heard a scream coming from Professor Yuritsa's room. Yuritsa. Ah, the combat professor with the mask. He has always been rather suspicious. We must hurry. Really, Sodith? So, Sothis, not Sodith, what is wrong? I mixed Sedith and her name. R really, Sothis, 
Yuritsa, the guy who's wearing a mask, is always has always been rather suspicious. Again, was it the fucking mask? Or how about the fact that he kept challenging us to a duel? No shit. Professor Yuritsa, are you there? He does not seem to be here. Hmm? On the ground. Professor Manuela. Yeah, I, I don't understand why that picture was shown before the on the ground Professor Manuela bit. Yeah, whatever. She's unconscious. Someone clearly attacked her. Look at her hand. It looks as though she is pointing at something. There. There's an opening behind that shelf. Perhaps a secret passageway. What is the meaning of... Wait, is that Manuela? What happened here? We know as much as you do. She needs to be taken to the infirmary. Yes, of course. And quickly, give me a hand, child. Understood. I'll support her head. Professor, I'll be back shortly. Please. Does this mean Professor Yuritsa did it? Could he also have kidnapped Flane? We should start by investigating this passageway. Do you agree, Professor? Agreed. The culprit could be hiding inside. That settles it. We'll take the offensive. Here we come, you monsters! Shall we? Okay, Caspar, you're a little you're a little too happy. I never would have imagined. Hmm? I see someone. They're unconscious. Yes. And there is someone else, too. It appears to be another student. Someone's coming. I recognize that Scython mask. It's that jerk we fought at the Holy Mausoleum. Uh, fought is being very, um... What's the term? I mean, liberal with the use of that word, I guess. Sword. You must be. One of us will die. The other will live. I will enjoy this dance of damnation. You know, this is odd. I, I feel like uh, I didn't get that scene before. It, it just kind of like dumped us right like we ran down the thing. We saw Flane and boom, right into battle. I don't know if I wasn't paying attention or what, but okay, never mind. I was about to say this one also had a, had a, um, it just had, it had like a weird sort of segue into the combat. It, it just, I feel this game does that a lot. I've mentioned this before where it's just, it, it just kind of drops us right into combat where I'm like, I feel like we're missing a scene or two in there but I don't know that one was not as bad as I remember it being so maybe I'm remembering something a little incorrectly oh right this one's kind of a pain in the ass right I forgot about all the doors like I said this is actually kind of a cool map because it's got all the uh, all the floor tiles uh, all these teleporter pads and heel tiles and everything it, it's interesting but the big pain about it is the fact that you keep having to, again, mess with all these teleporters and figuring out what leads where. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's see here. Um, It's actually easiest if we send Petra this way. Because she has... Because um, she's a thief, so she has lock touch. So she can just open chests and open doors and everything without having to worry about a um worry about keys some bernadetta this way as well dorothy is gonna hang out with me and because she's got plenty of heal skills now we can actually send we can send linhart this way and yeah we're gonna send, i'm gonna send those three that way because it's a lot tighter sort of quarters so we're going to send uh, Petra, uh, Bernadetta, and Linhart over here. And because it's more open, we're going to keep 
Ferdinand with us. Yeah, I think this is the smarter way to handle this. Um, put Caspar in the front and Ferdinand in the back because he's got the he's got the horse. All right, I like this. Yeah, well, we could have another two, except we don't have, you know, the people in our army, so. Defeat the Death Knight, or route all other enemies by the falls in battle. 25 turns pass. Let us hope we are not too late. And one of the things that we want to do... Oh. Something odd about the floor over there. What will happen if we step on it? And the Death Knight still has the um, Dark Seal, so that is something that we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna beat him and take that. So stay focused. And Bile could go and take that guy out. That's my cue. But well, we do want to give some experience to everyone else. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. As expected. There we go. Build a little support. Have her teleport crossed. Because she's got the boosted bow range, she'll be able to hit. And the critical. Am I done yet? Your skill is impressive. <laughs> now we end the turn. That's right, don't mess with Caspar. Sorry again, if you keep hearing me clunking around, people keep texting me for some reason. Don't they know I'm busy? It's my day off, I'm playing video games. Alright, that'll be a kill. There we go, we don't even need we don't even need gauntlets. See that? Just use my fists. I will not hold that. Damn. This was beneath me. The noble standard. Pretty good level. And we got a door key. Now. Hubert can go over here. Dorothea can run up, take a swipe with her sword. And then Byleth will run around, take him out with the lance. Never mind, we'll crit with the lance. I know. Data up that way, and finally, then heart will follow. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. 
send Dorothy up to heal him. He'll charge around that way and be able to uh, take out that mage. God damn. Sorry, I keep turning off I keep trying to turn off my mic when I have to cough. I'm Dear God, I hope I'm not getting sick again. Ah, oh, crap, they're standing on an avoid tile. Crap. I can fight through anything. Yeah, except right now you're getting your shit kicked in. Good job, Brendetta. Good job. I can improve. Cool. Door key. Even though I don't need it. Not a bad thing to pick up. See, and this is why you send archers down that path, because they keep hanging out at the, uh... F. I'm not gonna get doubled if I attack like this. All right, let's try it. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Again, at least I didn't get doubled, and he can counter attack if she tries to come at him again. Stay focused. There we go. Let's get Byleth Put me in there. to be the main focus. As you wish. I will get the victory. Petra up that way. And let's get Linhar to kill. Why not? Must be awful losing to me. There we go. Byleth will take the hit, but really not have to worry about it. <coughs> Ow. Alright, let's not go after that guy. Let's go after this guy. How about we stand on the tile? No, not the javelin, the spear. Which somehow has a lower hit chance, although Tempest Lance will boost it a little bit. And get us the kill. Why not? Contraptions in the floor. There we go. You should be on it. That's my cue. Yeah. 
so close to that level. And now we'll just charge Byleth around. Had no doubt. Nah, keep doing what you're doing. Another step forward. Not a bad level up. Again, don't even need my weapons. My fists are my weapons. See, again, for the Brawler class, I've said this before, for the Gauntlets, I still, I wish that they had them be more like Kestis or like an armored glove. Kind of like what you're seeing on Caspar's fists right now. Have it be a lot sleeker. Because I think it would be a lot cooler than these, just like these giant gauntlets with claws on them. They just, especially when you're not swiping a lot of times, you're punching. I just, I, I, I feel like, you know, again, something a lot sleeker, you know, like I said, kind of like a boxing glove or an MMA glove would be a lot cooler. I'm not saying you can't, like, put spikes at the end of it, but I'm saying, I don't, I feel like you could have done something a lot cooler there. Oh, I should have used my frozen lance. I kind of wanted to see what that ability would look like. Really going after Ferdinand again? Whenever your funeral. And we'll teleport. Guess we have to wait. That's fine, because neither of them are going to get here in time. That really helped. Use Physic, heal up Bernadetta. All right, at least he dodged the second one. Why do I have multiple vulneraries? Did I pick one up from somebody? I thought I picked up a door key. Guess I was incorrect. Okay, I, I gotta see what Frozen Lance is. Okay, not... Okay, I was kind of hoping he would, uh... <coughs> Sorry. Would use his magic to create kind of like a frozen... You know, like, um... Like, freeze the tip of the spear. I don't know, something cooler than that, but I guess not. I had to test it out. I want to be all I can. God damn, I... I keep saying it, man, I... Coffin, god damn. I've got uh, I got a drink sitting here next to me. I can't uh, can't figure it out. Maybe I'm just slowly dying. Maybe that's maybe that's what's going on. Flame spirit protect me. And door key, even though we don't need it. Weapon or your magic. And we'll use Physic to heal up Caspar. Yeah. 
each battle a chance to grow. And a chest key this time. Though we don't really need it because we got Petra, so we can send that to the convoy. And use Physic on Petra. And Byleth awesome with his dodge. And okay, they're not sending in the other mage. Interesting. Oh, we got another door here. Does anyone else have another door key? Okay, it's Caspar with the door key. Our thunder. Try again. You can't stop me. You were wide open. You're making me look bad. Ah, oh, best of both worlds. I didn't get the kill. Um, so I don't have to worry about, uh, stealing experience, and I got the support with Dorothea. Fantastic. No, I'll go with the kill. My plan is flawless. Ugh. How humiliating. Good job, Italian. Good job. And if I could swap my weapons, I would, but I can't. Would have been better if you could have gotten a crit there, Petra. I'm not going to lie. Anywhere I can hide. And this is why I love my archers. Whoa, did I get stronger? Especially on maps like these. Especially on maps like these, where we're attacking um, over walls. Even though I'd argue you wouldn't be able to make that shot, because shouldn't there have been, like, a ceiling right here? Well, whatever. Rules of the game and whatnot. Pathetic. Oh, interesting. You stand in that spot and... Okay. Shot! Cut! Oh, okay, so we have to activate something to... Interesting. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not just run into that room. You could have at least tried.
He drops another door key. We really need it. And Petra's already got plenty of kills. Yeah, can we get something that's going to guarantee a kill? There we go. Fire. <clears throat> we'll give it to Lindhart. And I didn't even enjoy it. Well, that just sounds like you're not having fun with your work. I might have made a bad decision. All right, he's not dead. Not worth the risk. Equip your javelin just in case. Oops. Thank you. Give him some sort of health. There goes Caspar again, just murdering people with his fists. You want to argue that's not technically what he's doing? That's what I like to believe he's doing. Whoa, crap. Sorry, guys. All right, guys, sorry about that. I, uh, if you, you heard that alarm, that was the alarm telling me that my laundry was done. So you have come. I'll make sure you never leave. Um. Nah, nah. Interesting apparatus. I wonder if we can operate it. Yeah. Yeah. Do a little bit of damage. We yeah, like what I said. Um. That uh, that alarm that was for my uh, my laundry. I had to go go take care of it. And if you're wondering why the hell I had to go, uh, well, you know why I couldn't just let my laundry sit, it's because I was washing uh, my work uniform and everything. So you know it was one of those. Um, I I can't let that just sit there. I had to take care of it now and. So it doesn't wrinkle and everything. You know, I keep saying archers are damn good characters in this game. Especially once they get that close counter ability. Um, yeah, my bombard, my rushing blow. Jump. Okay, so even uh, rushing blow was supposed to take me a tile further. See, I thought uh, because I used that, but apparent apparently um, that I'd still get that free space, but apparently not because I still don't have the um, uh, because of the ah uh, God, I can't remember what the what the um, what that's called the 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 status effect. It wouldn't let me move forward. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. You 
You are not. God damn, I gotta move a fan into this room or something. The noble really fucking hot. As expected. I believe that that warp tile will take me into here. Or it'll take me somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. Well, I mean, obviously it'll take me somewhere, but... I'd rather be nothing. Huh, interesting. Actually, exactly where I wanted her to go. Use Physic to heal up Ferdinand. So getting these guys ready to attack the Flame Emperor. Or the, not the Flame Emperor, the, that's a different character. The, um, fucking hell, Death Knight. Run up here. We'll equip our Sword of the Creator, because if they attack us, they're getting, getting swarded. Open the chest, and Eleven Sword, cool. If memory serves, the Leaven Sword gives us um, a ranged attack, I believe. What? What combat arts does she have? Ooh, she's got Dead Eye. Yep, I know what I'm doing with Bernadetta. I, I used the strategy with my in in the uh, in the other one. Uh, I attack through this wall with a with a combat art. Uh, with one of my archers, so actually placing them out here is a good move. Um, and send them down this way. Yeah, like I said, bad move, dude. That is that. Because basically this is just going to get you killed. Should I have held back? Do I have anyone with a door key? Not that I know of. Nope. Actually, I think Dorothea might have a... No? Or, not Dorothea, that Bernadetta might have one. Well, it was incorrect. I'm just kind of, like, testing out all these teleporter pads, just seeing where the hell they go. Oops, I already tried that one. Okay, we know that this one teleports here. Not sure what that one did. Ah, 
Okay. Now we're just in a weird place because I'm just going to start using tiles just to... Thank you. I'm basically just running around trying to um, unlock everything. There we go. Teleport should, yep, take us into this room. And my turn, Petra. Keep running her over here because she's going to unlock that chest. Teleport. Wait, because you can't teleport twice in one round. Put Bernie here. Use Deadeye, Steel Bow. And it will just get her killed because she's just going to get outspeeded. Yep. So there's really no point in putting her there. Actually, I am going to put her here because I think she can perform. A, I think she can back somebody up if I put her there. And a march ring increases movement speed. Teleports. <sighs> ah, Petra has door keys. Okay. Basically, now we're just trying to get her back with the main group. Oops. Oh, that's right. I have a turn limit here. And heaven won't give us the kill. I'm trying to think. Yeah, there's there's no real. Try something. Yeah, heal him with javelin. There we go. He'll run away and turn. Combat art. Night kneeler is effective against mounted. Steel lance. And with no crit, there's no chance that that's going to do anything for me. go we'll put her that's why Dorothea wasn't backing people up was because she didn't have um she wasn't in attack range that explains something basically getting everyone into everyone that can into attack range just to kind of provide some support yeah no matter what he's not getting into range so there Go to the Steel Lance. Night Kneeler, it's still not going to be enough. God, 
God damn, I just want that seal. Ruptured Heaven won't be enough, although it will drop his hit chance super low. Fuck it, let's go for it. Or not, it won't. Doesn't drop his hit chance a lot, but it's worth giving this a shot. Oh, did I crit? Holy shit, I critted. Okay. Whatever. Such power dwells within? I guess I was freaking out for nothing. Plus, I picked up the Dark Seal, which is what I really wanted. <laughs> the, that's the main reason why I was gaming this, so I had to take out the Death Knight, because I wanted the Dark Seal. Halt. You're having a bit too much fun. You are getting in the way of my game. Huh. You'll have more opportunities to play soon. Your work here is done. Understood. I will go. We will cross paths again. I am the Flame Emperor. It is I who will reforge the world. Yeah, I figured you were the Flame Emperor, seeing that, you know, you're clearly the leader, and all these other guys are the Flame Emperor's army. Rather worrisome that he sounds intent on showing up again. Are they both okay? We should get them out of here. The enemy is withdrawn. Let's carry them up. Pulses are slow. Still, I don't believe their lives are in danger. You found Flame? Where? You missed the most important part of the mission. We found her within that secret passage. The culprits were the Death Knight and... What was his name? Ah, the Flame Emperor. Sadly, they got away. All that matters is Flame's safety. Right, Professor? We will take these two to the infirmary. Professor, please inform Seteth. Whatever the circumstance, I'm glad Flame is safe. Though I'm curious to find out who that other girl is. Am I, am I the only one who's kind of curious about the whole teleportation thing that these guys keep pulling off? Like, like these guys can apparently just teleport into your, uh, your monastery, and nobody's going to make a big deal out of that. Huh? I'm just saying. Yes, sir? Is that a smile? No. <laughs> you look... Happy? I don't think I've ever seen you like this before. Anyhow, we should hurry to Sutter. He must be beside himself by now. Nah, let him worry. I'm not a big fan of Sutter. At least right now, he. I'm not gonna say he becomes cooler. He grows on me a little bit. Please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flame is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I. I am indebted to you. Yes, indeed. I... I too am overjoyed. Her kidnapper was the masked knight who vanished during the Rite of Rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flame's blood. The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare. And extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flame's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother! Wait! Weren't you unconscious? Flame, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... Y you know, again, 
the enemy can teleport. Does nobody want to bring that up? You know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? Who didn't see that coming? You think so too? I am so very pleased to hear that. Well, the only reason I think that is because I want another unit. Professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? Can I entrust you with Flame's safety? I am so glad that Flame is safe. Yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. She wore the uniform of the Academy. But who is she? See, th that's what I was talking about with Sedith. Well he done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. What was he saying? Uh, it's, that's what I'm saying about Sedith. He, he slowly becomes kind of less of an asshole. And, you know, it's like I said, I'm not saying, like, he's he's the coolest character, but still, I, he, he, he grows on you. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her at the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, okay. To Grander oh. Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Anbar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. I have my own mission. The church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Not that it's likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf, I'm going to leave something for you. Don't get me wrong, I have no intention of dying. I know it would be too much to ask you to cheer up, but can you at least drop the serious... <laughs> well... I'll be. Was that a smile just now? See, that's something that I wish was touched upon a little bit more, the whole fact that the that the main character is emotionless. I mean, really, so because uh, it's something that really goes unnoticed, at least in my opinion. And again, it's because we play a voiceless, nameless protagonist that only speaks when we have to do dialogue options. And even then, we're asking questions and being surrogates for the player to find out information. It's n They're not a character. They're almost just, like I said, just a surrogate question asker. They're not an actual character in the story. And that bothers me, especially when there's actually a lot of important stuff with the main character. Especially that has to do with their bloodline, just stuff that happens in a couple... Actually, we're two, three chapters away from really finding out some cool shit. But, but that's, that's what I'm getting at. It's just I wish they'd play on though. It, it, it's it's like that uh, that thing when we we were uh, that that uh, bah, 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 that support with Dorothea. That was the word I was looking for, uh, where she's like, you know, the the character's heart's not beating. They're talking about how the main character rarely shows emotion. It, it's. 
things that make me ask some odd questions or, or not odd questions. That's not that's not the proper way to say that. It, it, it's stuff that at, makes me ask questions that I, I feel could have been touched upon and made me realize: Is it? I'm I'm trying to think how to express how, how to explain this. It's making me ask questions that. Is this just a joke? Is this not important? Is this important? Because I'm finding out in little conversations like that, in conversations like supports, it's I, I just I'd rather them be kind of queuing this up and hinting at it here and there, as opposed to, well, look at your character model. They never smile. Well, okay, so what? I uh, Joker never smiles in um, fucking Persona Five, but that's never a big. That's not anything to do with the story. Plus, you know, I, I rarely see his face that much or in that much detail. Again, it's it's like I'm saying, it's just, I, I feel like that could, that they could have touched upon it a little bit more. They could have done some, uh, done a little more something with it than just, oh, he never smiles. Oh, he's never this. He's never that. It's just, it, it's something that bugs me. Just, I, I'm rambling now. Uh, we're going to close here. Maybe I'm getting heat stroke. Thanks for watching. Facebook, go to the website, minds.com. Links that's down in the description below. Uh, like, comment, you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. It really helps out uh, metrics and, um, Requ uh, recommended and crap like that other than that uh we'll pick up here next time i promise the next video will have less interruptions and until then thanks for watching and um yeah i'm out my name is hg kills i'm out